how the queen blew. This time without caps lock. <laughs> nah! Sorry. Didn't. Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Aldunia bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. I see. White waxy leaves allow this plant to collect large amounts of water to choirs. Sounds either like this or what I think this. Smooth waxy leaves. It's said that a person can be bound to a secrecy using Mary's breath. It's used to grow in the royal gardens. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Most likely this one. It's not. What? The white waxy leaves allow this plant to collect large amounts of water it requires. No. White plants. The veined leaves have a waxy finish. Could be, doesn't look like the drawing at all. I know the game said don't look at the drawing, it's not as important. The leaves are quite soft. Find yourself the secrecy. White waxy leaves allow this plant to collect large amounts of water. It is not this one, which, you know, would make the most sense. Waned, waxy finished, maybe. None of this is big. And this one has white. But uh, they don't look like leaves on it. But they don't look like it either. Dark blue petals are soft and feathery to my to the touch. My fingers age from handling this plant. Red fruits, long flat leaves. Huh. It's used to be grown in the royal gardens so that the king could ensure the trust of its confidence. All right, let's make a little, make a little go around to the royal gardens. Because I, if that's not the case uh, that, that I have it, then I, I don't own it. Well, the question is uh, where there's a castle there are many castles, actually. Can be bound to se secrecy using Mary's breath. It's used to be grown in the royal gardens. In the royal gardens. That is like the, the, the most description I can have, probably. Where would be a garden? Those are woods. Rocks that. Grasmere. Dungeon Gill. Citalan. The low woods. Grammar Castle. Resident 
forest. Okay, my, my guess goes to here. The crumbling ruins of Agamot Castle preach atop a hillside overlooking the village below. As I wander through the walled remnants, I'm reminded that the legend of Agamot's horn that once hung proudly above the castle gateway. Along, although long since lost, it's said that the mystical horn, when blown by a rightful heir, has the power to restore the castle to its former glory. Alright, not helpful at all. Okay, I'm, I'm taking another guess that this may be Mary's breath, and after that, I'm making another expedition. Yeah, I thought so. Ah! <coughs> Cheers, Leute. What are you? You're technically sitting on a field with that. That could be, however, a uh, inconvenience. So I'm not really sure about this one. Large amounts of water. So it would make sense if it's near the near the water. Ah yeah. Moonraver's castle is on the water. Hmm. Uh, Siedelberg castle is also on the water. So there goes that. I'm not sure if I'm overseeing something, but uh, from my current perspective, I do not. The proud edifice of Mooncaster, Mooncaster Castle is the residence of Lord Fremont, a collector of ancient manuscripts. Okay. I am sorry, I do not quite understand what the game wants from me. Mary's breath. I'm sure I have some of that around here. Are you sure? The flowers are a soft purple with a sweet scent. Smell wonderful. The leaves are quite soft. We're looking for waxy. White waxy leaves. Nope. I am very sorry. I don't see what uh, what the game wants from me. Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough grass paper. Nope. I have some of this around somewhere. Okay, this is my final guess. And it looks like a reed. And not at all as the description here. So, I'm going to be honest. It is either this plant, or I'm swimming in feces. Whoever made this book is a complete fucking idiot. Alright. Another signed letter. Oops. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secret has been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in the Grizzadale forest, a mile from the lake shore. 
across. Ah, from the from the shore across, from Truva. Torera, Torera. Is this an R or a double B? Please help us. Yours and hope, the sisterhood. Okay. Ah, there we go. One down. A mile from the lake shore across. A mile from. Deep. You will find us deep in Grisadel Forest, which is here. A mile from the lake shore across from Torba. So this is here. So directly here. <clears throat> A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am unsure how I am unsure in I'm Usher. Oh, Usher. What a strange word to use. I am Usher into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on the table, draped in silk, is the order. There is not a mark on her there is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black, and her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as raven wing. Do you know what could have done this? I ask, uh, asks Maya's court. I said to work. Yeah, Ren, the, 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 the very painful, slowly but surely everything is going black death. Is it? No. It is, okay. It's not what I thought. What I thought is... This one. Dendra. The funny one. The long leaves from the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons. Okay. And so can be used to detect them. Ah, all right, okay, so... Wait, what? There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black. As a raven's wing. Her veins. So it sounds like... It sounds like uh, Drenna was used to kill her. Since... Uh, the lips, the veins will turn black as the blood succumbs. So this will be probably detected by Ren. Though it has no flowers, it's said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. It's a plant without flowers. Petals, whatever. Smells faintly of wood smoke, feels like rough paper. Not what you're looking for. Has a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. You could be very much a wren. Yeah, you're a wren. Very good. Grey Sandfire. Sandfire has a tough outer bark, which has many useful properties. Some chew, some chew it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow, to swallow it as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. Weird. The flame-like tendrils give off smoky scent, adding to the impression of roaring fire. All right. Go over here. Be a nice plant. 
I extracted a sample of the Arda's blood and introduced it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed. Immediately, the leaves of the wren turned black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded Dendra. <laughs> I knew it. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. We got... Ah, we got this one, which we think we knew, and the, the, the funny. This one. Summer lung. Flowers grow wrapped in a large, ridged leaf. It has a pleasant scent. The leaves have rib, stiff ribs. Uh, maybe. You know, the easiest way to find out what it is, is to literally just burn it. A moment later, and it would have been better. To <laughs> Hello, Jane. Good evening. <clears throat> I am this close to reporting you, uh, Wall Hit. The last plan you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. I need to think carefully about which plan to use here. My actions could have consequences. So I have to give him. Butterdale or make Drew. Why? Oh, skin itch. Okay, that's this is why. General Kenobi. Oh, hello, Lee. So make do would be this one. Which not immediately to be seen. Oh yeah, by the way, you are Mary's breath. Go over here. Be a nice plant and go away. The beautiful flower made of, of small of of many smaller fl florets. Make this a sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves again bare skin will result in painful salt. Okay, so we no we don't give him that. We give him butterdale. Often found growing in clumps on valley sides, Butterdale has been used for centuries as a cure for all manners of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. The flowers smell buttery to some people. Buttery. Buttery. You there. Know. The purple flowers have a light, buttery scent. Yep, you are what I look for. Yep. And we got Storian. Dark red fruits should not be ingested under any circumstances, as they are highly poisonous, resulting in instant in insanity and then death. A cross section of the stem. What's well, a cross section? Uh, shows the distinctive triple xyam and polyam of the Storian. All right, that helps me absolutely nothing. But uh, I know now that you, my friend, are a Butterdale. Twitch chat, how are we doing today? I hope you had an enjoying start into the week. You might be wondering why are we playing with plants, and I, I couldn't tell you. I found this game on Steam. It was... Uh, on sale, and I thought like, all right, looks like papers, please. And you know what? It's like papers, please. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing today? <clears throat> the book both fascinated and terrifies her in equal measures, as her studying it for some time has reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book here. It could never be found. So we are having a bit of a story? Okay. North of Hoxstead, east of Lorvik, west of Osland, south of Gringlegags. Okay. 
Should be an easy one to pin down. You have four directions. In theory, you need two. Hawkstead. Hawkstead. North of Hawkstead. Okay. Lovick. Um. Well. I mean, is this pointing me to one direction? Or is it pointing me to four directions? I don't even know where Lowick is. Oh, Van Rusland. Interesting. Lowick. So it's east here. It's somewhere in here. Basically, we're, we've already pinpointed that down. But, well, it's here. West of Rusland. Oh, that is... So it has to be some, somewhere around here. And south of Drinklegags. It has to be here. My eyes are drawn to a silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixated on nothing, a whisper of an expression as my gaze swept his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched fingers and I am surprised to find a cluster of white flowers growing there, hidden from view. We got uh, cool stuff. Yes, I, I like cool, cool stuff. Especially when I know what it's doing, <laughs> which I don't. Wilbur Miller, you and you. I'm looking for a plant. <laughs> um, lady of uh, something or other. Uh, I'm no green eye, uh, that's for sure. My mind isn't all what it's used to. Uh, to be it's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline yeah we look lady of summer wrong one lady of summer which uh i thought we had but we may do not the leaves curl around delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature make this sought after ornamental plant. Aids of the condition of memory, memory degradation associated with old age. The leaves curl round. Uh, makes finger age, so not that one. I mean, you're literally under toxic. I know from this one, this is toxic, so not that. Smells pleasant, but it's thorny. Bright fit flowers glow at the end of a thin stem. Nope. Smells like rubber. Nope. It's probably something I already have. Small leaves, delicate flower. Nope, definitely not. A single sweet smelling dark flower. Attract combined with an attractive flower. That is not telling me shit, dude. The leaves curl round. Oh, I am an idiot. The leaves, not the petals. Yeah, it's, that's the Lady of the Sun. Gemütlicher <clears throat> Rätsel Spaß? Yep, it is. Pennet. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce its anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. Alright. 
Lady of Summer. Wait, I am the funny. Slut of Summer. The game gives me the possibility to name the plants how I want. So I am immediately going to do this. <coughs> They're saying the Arda has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust the sister, but it seems to me the Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. The cold is too much to bear beyond the, ga the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it. But if you are determined to explore Great Gabble, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I am sure you will have a plant up your sleeve that can uh, keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Okay, so we are going to do this. Uh, but before we do this, we had a plant that makes you very warm. Yes. Sandfire has a tough outer bark. Ba, 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 ba. Tendril, no. Sleeping. Love lock. Still don't have those. I think we don't have those. I'm, I'm very surprised with this one. There we go. Brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a drought made from uh, using leaves from the brimlock plant. It was has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right, in the cold of winter, brimlock produces a small yellow flower. The cold of winter brimlock produces small yellow flowers. Small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. So it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. It could be that I do not have this plant yet. Waxy and tough. When the conditions are just right in the cold of winter brimlock produces a small yellow flowers. If the conditions are just right in the cold of winter, comma, brimlock produces a yellow flower. Is there a place called brimlock? Um, if you see Brimlock, keep it hidden because I can find it. Yep. Do I have this plant? That is the question that everyone should ask. Quite soft, nope. Sharp and thorny. Ribs. Stiff leaves. The leaves are waxy and tough. Smells like cream. Strawberry and honey. No idea. Smells like rhubarb. Small red berries. Smooth waxy leaves. No, we're lo looking for waxy and tough. I don't think we have this, to be honest.
I mean, the text says it can have a small yellow flower, but we shouldn't 100% look after that because there could be no yellow flower. It's only there when they are optimal, which might not be a given. I would be really interested is that if is that if there is a brimlock and we get it from there Ambleside Red Pike Gasford So this is we need the the love lock stuff Great Gabble. Sounds also like a mountain, because why else should you need, yeah. Why else should you need something if it's, if it's not a mountain? In the winter of... Nah. So I might uh, go dark here, but I I don't see uh, that I have this flower without just making assumptions. Norman Lee. <laughs> hey Lee, didn't know you in the game. This plant is cursed. It was brought, it had brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it, I want nothing more to do with it. All right, thank you. I, I do like myself a mushroom. How did you know? Simon, Simon Green. Oh, the liber, liberatrix? Whatever. Hellebon. Always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he wasn't, hasn't been nibbling on the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out the informations on those plants. I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common trowels. And I know where to find it. According to Granson's herb herbology, it grows in abundance on red pike. I come here by... I come here by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have some business in Sedberge in the meantime. Here I have this. Common trowels. Despite being described as common, the trowels can in fact be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance on the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Alright. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather is agreeable, and the view majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after. So, is it... Where's the plant? You there. No flower, sparse leaf. Is it fair to assume? Amazing, it's gone now. That it is... Uh... Where are you? The common trust. Yeah, very, very. You are a common address. Very good. As a balm against eye stain. Ugh. Okay. I don't. Yeah, but I'm sure why not. Plants are weird. Bonjour. Verona Green. Uh, when you work with the, when you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you are going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put a bit on a show every now and then. Let, let the plunders know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad. And the little bugger called me bluff. Uh, 
Don't look at me like that. You know what the little boy does I like. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyway, the little I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Have you any similar lung? Well, let me tell you, it is either this one or I break my kneecaps. Okay. <laughs> Candlewood produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against all manners of affliction of the mind. Long thin stems grow along tall leaves. Okay. Yeah, but this was like, uh, it's either this or no. <laughs> There's a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have it. Mm, something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves, though. I think it's this one. No? Monk brew. So the only thing with brew is meek do. Didn't I read something with brew? But a dale. Monk brew. What? Leaving draughts. Nope. Gilded Dendra. Lady of Summer. A loud noise. Afflictions of the heart. Uh can allow a person to pass unnoticed. It makes you sneaky? <laughs> Meek do. A beautiful flower made up of many smaller flowers. Make this a sought after decorative plant, although it's difficult and care for. It may be pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves again, their skin will result in pain. Anyway, so it's definitely this one. Uh, comprised of many others. Maybe. Made up of many smaller flowers, it makes a sort of decorative plant, although difficult to care for. Small leaves, delicate flower. Uh, Meek do. Looks a lot like this. Could also be this. Mollus Fidem. Uh, nope. Maybe a pleasant looking plant, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sore. I 
I don't know why I have a magnifying glass here. Or why I should be able to do something like that in the first place anyway. Or what this is. So, still unknown. Uh, yeah, my, my guess is either this. The flower are made up of many smaller blue flowers or this. A beautiful flower made up of many smaller florets. Sounds more like this. Also, they have bigger leaves to touch it. Alright, that's this one. 50-50. Make do. Oh, meek do. Excuse me. Time passed, a year and then another. The book remains hidden. But out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was her what the book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested. What she brooded over when she did her cars. What the pictures when she dreamed. Okay, doesn't help me at all. Monday. I hate Mondays. Yeah, uh, this can mean anything or nothing. But my guess is like, uh, it can be... Yep. My only guess. <laughs> the gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight fought scattered clouds, a rest. Tune of plants. Nice. It's a ripped up card. There, there are two things that could be it. <laughs> it's either a part of something or it's a geography of something. The fox bottom was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly with me. Not that I have the time to pursue it pro properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found at the Sin... Swin side stone circle and apparently it's a greasy one. Don't suppose you got anything to help me keep my lunch down. My stomach never copped too well with the greasy ones. Some a pennant. Oh yeah. Garstic distress and reduces anxiety. All right. It has long, soft leaves. Long, soft leaves. They smell wonderful. Very small berries. Chewing the tough rod of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduces anxiety. A rather unpleasant scent. Smells like red rubber. Soft pale blue flowers. D d these inspections are only for touch, maybe. Other than that, they are extremely useless. Long soft leaves. Pale yellow flowers, the leaves are quite soft. It's probably this, yes. 
we got an entry for witch pig a plant that is said to have many uses including easing the symptoms of infection soaking up moisture and detecting the presence of certain compounds it is also well liked by butterflies it has a similar leaves to the fever kiss plant which is often which is often confused with so this could be fever plant maybe anyway you uh finette By the way, Twitch chat, I hope you're ready. We're doing another episode of uh, unpacking today, later the stream. But today we, we, we chill with, with the plant boys, okay? Morning. Verona Green handed me this for you. Seems in a rather good mood. I meant to tell you this yesterday but it slipped out my mind. I discovered a plant on a recent trip to Gazadel Forest, just northeast of Rustland. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sister would have given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. Uh, which side? Northeast. So here. From the moment I. From the moment I stepped off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Suddenly, uh, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Elf and elves? Elm? <laughs> Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest by order of the Arda, says the leader of the trio. I turned to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow glow. You should not use mellow glow, you should use a gun. Among, among other uses for this plan the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed though it's not though not invisible it is possibly to become hidden from sight and memory has sharp thorns that protect it from predators well let me tell you probably this one let me double check this ah actually Sharp thorns. Turquoise flower sharp thorns. Sincerius Materus. Uh, I'm putting out the, the Google Translator, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some uh, broken up Latin. Sin. Uh, Sinus ma tus. Sin si nus uh, yeah, there is there is no good translation for it. <laughs> Uh, probably this one though. And I get a book entry of Kabbalia, a rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who can afford it place wreaths made from it in the graves of their loved ones. Kabbalia flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seventh petal flower is considered to bring good fortune. All right. Mellow glow. Nice. And we got a plant. The 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 the, the, the funny one. Uh, 
I am afraid the campery you gave me was helping me sleep and I am very grateful for it, but the visions are stronger than stronger as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. The screams she screams at me, but I do not know why, and behind her that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of colors that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down the abyss, but I am afraid. Uh, one of those, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can do it, maybe. Produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting all manners of afflictions of the mind. Long thin stems grow along tall leaves. Ah, yeah. Bright red flowers grow at the end of thin stems. Well, uh, I think we found candlewood. And we got... Veriless. Veriless is an empty named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flower is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. So, like... Uh, this one... Or the other one, but more potent, maybe. Anyway, you are... Clavillium. Probably came from the name Clairvoyance. Hmm? Seeing uh, a motto here. Margaret Elsbeth. We don't come to Andermel often, but I heard about your shop, and I said to Francis we must simply pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dairy town. I am the green fingered one and it's not really his cup of tea, but I pursue him the trip would do him good and besides we're wanting to make a boat out of the lake. Shame about this awful weather though. You must uh you must come to we have a small library with some books and plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I am sure you will have interest to an horror case such as yourself. Can I make marks on the book or on the map? No. You are cordially invited to Zizek Castle, Lord and Lady Elspeth. Well, let's make a little trip. Um, probably a castle. Castle. I am greeted enthusiastically by Lady El Elspeth herself. She is very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh my, you must uh, take a sample of this back with you. She exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize. But before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me to the next. And this one too, she says. <clears throat> I'm quite exhausted by the time we make up to the library and I don't have the time to make a forest study as I would like to. I might have liked. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry uh, that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elspeth, carries as cries as I make a leaf. She trusted her plants from the gardens into my hand and thanks her warmly. Okay. Ah, fever kiss. I see. The red berries provide an energy boost that lasts several hours. The pale, the leaves are pale in color. Yeah, so, uh... Fever kiss.
you're most likely fever kiss and it's gaps uh, there was a second plant that talked about fever kiss It has similar leaves to the fever kiss plant, which is often confused with. Because this one is pale, uh, but fever kiss is specifically said to be small yellow berries, small red berries, yeah. Fever kiss. The red berries provide an energy boost. Yeah, this is fever kiss. This is which is whatever. I believe this is an okay assumption, as you might have noticed. I put it down in uh, purpose, since I'm not 100% sure. I'm looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves. It helps with my heartburn. What? With yellow flowers and coarse leaves. I mean, can you root? Digestive troubles? Nope. The leaf seems to have a mind of their own. Not very helpful. Why am I watering them? If outside is fucking rain. Anyway, they are literally my living, so I, I better take care of this little dipshit. What? It actually done something? It's pugent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is soft, yellow and wax and leaves are waxy. What? Wa watering those little fuckers actually did something? Why is this a thing? I I've done this for fun because nothing happened yet. So I just thought like, mm, yeah, water time. Yeah. Or the game be like, yeah, water time. Okay. Looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves. Yellow flowers, quite soft. It's not candy root. Interesting, he is not uh, interesting enough to stand here. It helps with my heartburn. I mean, I read of something like that, but it is not a yellow flower. Brimlock. Developing in darkness, skin rashes, loved one stuff, love lock. Nope. Fatigue. Eye strains. Sleeping draught. Energy boost. A contract of friendship, okay. Plant with medical habitation, digestive troubles, dead. Um, 
stomach in wind makes a loud noise um, the variation of old age memories curing afflictions of the heart lemon dandy uh, I'm looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves it helps my heart burn What do you mean? You have no idea. Shut up. Like, come on. With yellow flowers and coarse leaves. Darling, what do you want? Uh, Miss Breath, very beautiful. Something, something, anxiety and distress, poison detection. Uh, burn very bright and noisy. Hearing ability. Insanity and death. Wandering thing. Extreme cold environments. Butterfly stuff, symptoms of anxiety. Uh, let me tell you, my boy, I, I don't know what you want. It helps my heart burn. Heartburn is English translated to Sodbrenn, which has in German nothing to do with the heart at all it comes from your fucking stomach which i did not know that this i i never used this in my life ever for this uh, okay by the way i think i would like to order my plants in order so we start with the butterdale I have the candle wood. This is a red flower that provides. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Ooh. I am an idiot, dude. Oof. So, yeah. Anyway. Common trouse is this one, which I'm 100% sure it is. Then we have the fever kiss, which will stand over there since it's not 100% confirmed. This is, okay, you know what, technically seen, it is not 100% confirmed. I'm just very sure about it. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, so forest gampry. Uh, 
Box Bottom. Grandifoot. Harlequin Blue. Lady of the Summer. Slut, I mean Slut of the Summer, excuse me. Lemon Dandry. Lemon Dandry. Mary's Breath. Make do. Six over there, so, so I should have six down there. Similang Sand Poppy, the Wandering Boo, and those are all which are confirmed. Meaning everything else now goes over here. A lot more over there. you are like to be confirmed okay more order uh, yellow or leaves something something so grandy what are you doing yeah aided with digestive troubles wow makes sense now Plant identified. I, I I didn't already? 